Hello, welcome back to the TCAP commentary. So today we're gonna do Jerry Griffith, the Apple Pie Predator. And it, if, based on the title, you know what type of video this is if you've seen the last one. Um, last time we did Lee Greer. Today we're gonna do Jerry Griffith with, obviously, an Apple Pie, right? I got the tiny one, like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of cheapened out a little bit. But I'm not gonna eat you know, an entire pie on camera. <laughs> so there's what there's there's that, right? But, um, I also don't know if I'm a big fan of apple pie. I, like, I've had it before, but, like, the last times I've had it, like, I can only stomach only so much. So, I want to I wanna see how I do with this tiny one. But, um, anyway, I, and that'll be that, right? I have water with me. Um, I know he brings other things, but I just kind of forgot it. I just got the apple pie itself. But, anyway, we're going to go on and continue. If you like TCAP, check out the channel. Um, I have a lot of videos, including this one. I have Lee Greer as well, right? We had McDonald's, his McDonald's order that he brought for, for TCAP. So yeah, check those videos out. Leave a like, by the way. I haven't been saying that in a while. And, you know, yeah. Anyway, let's continue, right? Let's continue on to the video. <laughs> it's time to bring out the apple pie. I won't take a bite until he pulls it out. Paul. What's that? Bite an apple pie. Yes. <laughs> Sweet cream. Oh, huh? that's what I forgot. Yep. So we have quite the uh, shopping bag full of stuff there, huh? How's it going? Good. Much of a seat behind the school. Okay. Oh man. What's uh what's happening? What's cracking? Oh what? What are you here for? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. So you just decided to pop in the house because it looked like a nice house? No. It's so bad. I had some lady that told me she liked for me to call her. A lady? Yeah. A lady. And what was her name? She was twenty two and I, I don't remember what her name was. Uh twenty twenty two, right. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, now that he's finally took everything out, right, and Chris has come out, let's take a bite of the apple pie, right? I, I'm, I'm a little scared because I don't, I like, I don't think I've really ever had like one. Like I've had the McDonald's apple pie, but I don't think that counts. But anyway, let's see. Okay. No, no. <coughs> not bad. <laughs> It's actually not that bad. I actually kind of like it. Oh, don't tell me I'm a massive Apple Pie fan. Don't tell me. But, um... <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh, should I cut that out? No. I've already been into it. I can't do anything about it, right? Oh, shit. Oh, now I'm just chewing here. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not a massive fan of it, but the feeling's good. Well, right there, I say a little bit of, a, of an apple pie flavor. Uh, but I meant to say apple, but I'm, I'm already ruining ruining this. But this video's not good. Anyway. Thanks to what you're here for. No, she said she was fine. She said her name was fine. No, she said she was fine. She said she was fine. Yeah. She said that where? Over the internet? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Now, what did you bring here? Why don't you show me what's in there? I brought an apple pie. Hell yeah. Well, it's fine. Yeah, she said that uh, she was 22. Her name would be Adriana. Adriana? Huh? Yeah. What else did you bring? I brought some corn. I should have got that too. What about the Oh, yeah. Some other stuff. Like what? Like I brought some, uh, some uh, contraceptives. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. And some <laughs> rolls. Maybe they're rolling. Oh, for you. Yeah. <laughs> So you've got you know, I should have just bought everything that was in this bag. <laughs> I don't know what, what like drink that is. I know it's the one with the little red star, but I don't know the name of it. We have uh, whipped cream, which I missed out. You know, I could have gotten that too, like without it, without anyone giving me any looks. <laughs> Contraceptives and uh, what was it like? Some like tummy uh, gummies or some shit. Oh man, this is so dumb. What am I doing? I like at the end the the apple pie didn't taste that good. Like is is this a review as well? Um, Walmart apple pies aren't really all that great. That's my review, I guess. I'll give it a a f four point five out of ten. Oh man, I don't want to take another bite. Uh, whipped but, cream oh, apple pie. Like 
Heineken. Oh, Heineken, there it is. Heineken. Yeah. Some lubricant and some contraception. Yeah, she told me her name was Adriana and she was 22. And I have to she finish this me though. I'd like to come on. 22. Like, yeah. Like, I'm gonna make it a point that, like, everything I've brought for the camera, I have to finish in the time, like, allotted. I know there are some people that have brought a lot of things, but, y you know, like, I, I ha it's a challenge at this point. Like, I know, um, Alonzo Wade, he brought, like, two cases of Mike's Hot Lemonade. I'm not gonna drink two, but I plan on bringing one. Uh, well, well, bringing one so I can drink all of it. I feel like I could. If it's more lemonade, I feel like I could definitely do it. <laughs> That's, that's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it, right? Um, I know some people joked about that um, trucker guy that like does cocaine. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have app uh, apple rocks, pop rocks though. But I'm just talking about the future. But second hey, bite right name? now. My name is Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, what's your last name? Griffith. Griffith. I think I'm falling apart. Live? I live in Long Beach. Long Beach. Mm -hmm. Right. Now. You chatted for some time on the internet with this other person. Yeah. This is torture. And so you know that she's not 22 based upon what you told me. No, oh, she told me she was 22. She started out, I was talking to some other person, and then the other person quit talking to me, and then one night when I was on the internet, she started chatting with me, and she said she was this person's aunt. And I said, okay. And... So Okay, let's talk about the video for now. I, I have some things to say about the apple pie, but I'll, I'll save that for a little bit. So, Jerry Griffith's story has always, um, you know, fascinated me. Because, you know, my main concern is whether he thought of it on the spot or if he had that, like, practiced. Because either way, it, it results in a funny result, you know what I mean? Because, like, if he thought, if he planned that... It's a pretty bad story, but if he didn't plan it, it's it's a it's it's a okay story. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, one of the only predators that have like genuinely thought up of something reasonable to say to be like, hey, well, I was talking to two people at the same time, and this and that. Of course, it didn't, it didn't work, right? Because this would only work if there was like a external um, a, um, variable towards the chat logs when all of it was being done by perverted justice, right? The the team behind. Um, well, they don't work with NBC, right? Some people are going to get on my ass for that. They don't work they don't work for NBC, but they work, like, with, right? They're, like, hired to do the, the, the work. Um, but, yeah. So, <laughs> if, he, if he did plan it, uh, it's not a good planning. Like, I feel like you could have thought of, of something a little bit better than that, right? And not sounding kind of dumb. But if it was on the, on the spot, then not bad, right? Not bad, I'm just saying. But yeah. So, I started talking to right, her. Third bite. And need to get she just this. thought I was nice. I thought she was nice, so she asked me to come over. Come over here? Yeah. And how did you get the address for this she woman? She gave it to me. This woman named... Adriana. 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 Hmm. And what about Amy? I think... I don't... I think Amy's her niece or something. Yeah. Adriana's supposed to be the aunt. Green Day Chick. That's Amy. Green Day Chick. That's supposed to be... Well, she told me that's her aunt's screen name. Really? Yeah. What's happening? Now, you know, I have the transcript of the entire conversation. That's fine. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> but I thought I was talking to Adriana. Cool. Do you like older guys? I'm 35. Wow, well, I'm 13. Oh, my God. Laugh out loud. I'm sorry. I thought you was older. Oh, no. That was, that I'm was sure you don't want a guy my the... age. Laugh out loud. Right. You're cute. Oh, I don't know. That's when I first talked to the, the niece, and then I talked to the aunt after that. <laughs> you see, I've been doing two types of torture. Like... I, I've always considered Jerry Griffith to be one of those guys that I feel like would argue to the very end, which is annoying as hell. <coughs> <coughs> Almost took on, on a piece of pie. Um, type of guy to argue to the very end. And I'm pretty sure he did up until, like, police, maybe, but I'm not sure. It's, it's not like his interrogation is out there. I don't think so. But, like, it's just one of those guys that, like, every time I think about him, I think about his argumentative, like, attitude and it just kind of makes me mad um we've only reviewed him once on the channel because i checked i had to make sure that i had seen him before right because if i didn't then i'd be like well you know what am i doing right because um you know I, I have to focus on the video but um we have done him before right a while ago and hi <sighs> jerry griffith man that's all i can say but anyway on to the the the, the pie first of all this tastes really bad and then 
kind of good at certain times. Like, it's, it's so, you know, all over the place. The, the flavor is okay. The, the, the pie itself, like the, the crust area, is really bad. It's, like, super duper, like, sour to the point where it's not even, like, um, sugary or, like, you know, sweet. It's just, like, bitter as hell. Just like me. You know? I'm kidding. I'm sweet. <laughs> uh, I'm, like, so good. <laughs> I'm burping so much because I just don't want to go again. I don't want to bite into it anymore. But I, now I made, made that rule up, like, on the spot. <laughs> on the spot, so now I have to keep going, right? Damn it. Alright, fourth fight. If you don't want to say it's okay... She said she... The lady I talked to said it was her aunt. If you don't want to say it, it's okay, but I know since you're only 13, are you experienced? <laughs> are you experienced with boys? Turn that light off. I hope we become girlfriend... I hope we become boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh. God. But I know with how young you are, you can't go out with me. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we have to sneak. Yes. Well, then I don't. Before he starts yapping away, let, let me say one thing. I, you, I didn't think that Chris revealed that, like, yeah, well, actually, you acknowledged that she was this age was this early, right? We're four minutes into the video, but you have to, like, account everything else, right? Like, the silence, him taking stuff out and all that stuff. But... Like, to, to, for him to start saying, and he hasn't said it yet, but I'm just going to say, like, for him to start saying, like, oh, then she must have entrapped me. Like, it's so ballsy, right? Like, do you think that once you say that, like, they're going to let you go? Like, I, I don't know. It's very hard to say what these guys were thinking at the very exact time, right? Bef um, without asking them. Geez, I can't even talk. This pie has really gotten to me. Got to be stumped. But anyway, I thought apple pie was meant to be good, man. I mean, to be fair, I'm having a, a you know, superstore Ver version i'm sure a homemade one would be very good right but um this one isn't homemade so. i know with how young you are you can't go out with me so, I, I don't yeah know. we have to sneak yes well then i don't, I don't know that. bother you no cool right. you don't care i'm 13 do you care i'm 35 i don't know who she was talking to hell no what's your uh, screen name jerry griffith no your screen <laughs> name so now, you need to yeah. you need to think about your answer here because we've done a lot of yeah. research. So I know a lot of things you probably don't think I know. That's fine. <laughs> so it might be a good idea I, to tell the truth. I just thought I was talking to her aunt. I, I I'm just surprised. I really am. Like looking at this again, like I thought this went a lot nicer. Not nicer, but less combative than it actually is. Because Chris is like. By the way, you need to stop lying before I slap the blank out of you, right? Like, you just told them, you know, hey, tell the truth or, you know, because I know a lot of things you think I don't know, right? But, um, yeah, I'm just surprised. Like, I, like if I were to saw Jerry Griffith, like, probably out and about, actually, no. He seems so fed up with life. He seems so stuck up about everything. So maybe he would have been, like, I would assume that he is a combative person. But to me, he looks like a, I'm not going to say it, but. <sighs> yeah, um, Adrian, I'm 22, by the way, so when I turned 22, when I turned 22, I, like, this is what was flooding my comments when, uh, I announced it was my birthday on Instagram, by the way, follow me on Instagram, I haven't done that, done that in a long time, right, follow me on there, right, um, actually, yesterday I posted a early link to one of my videos, so maybe in the future I will be posting, um, early links to videos I have already dropped, right, so just have that in mind, Right, if you do want to check me out, but um, yeah, just a minor plug. I'm sorry, minor. What? Uh, <laughs> How could you think that? How can you think that? She told me her name was Adrienne. What's your screen name? Uh, my screen name is Jerry Griffith. Um, Brian B. Jones. How about Mr. B. Jones too? Right, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So your memory is a little better now. Well, no, that's <laughs> I'm, I'm just sending around, but. No, I, I, she has an aunt named Adriana. She's 22 years old. I see none of that in this transcript. Is well, that I, don't, I, I don't know how that's possible, but I talked to a girl named Adriana. It's very interesting to see that he never looks really at Chris all that much. I know he's looking at him right now, and I think I made this exact same joke in my last video. Maybe you should go check, right? I'm not going to send you over there or something, but... Yeah, it's just I don't know, something about... It. Like, this guy has a very punchable face, that's one thing, right? Um, but, an apple pie, really? You could have brought something a little bit better, like a cheesecake or something, right? I love cheesecake. I know some people don't, right? Like, you're weird, I'm just saying, right? 
unless you're friends with me and like you don't like cheesecake, then that's fine. But if I don't know you, I think you're weird. But um, yeah, I love cheesecake. <laughs> I don't know how they turned into that. Oh, I would have ripped well, up a cheesecake right to now. Green who has told you she's 13. You had a long conversation about the fact that she's 13. You asked her if it's going to be a problem. And furthermore, <laughs> you talk about how she should make sure that there are no friends around, that there are no relatives who could drop in, to make sure that parents are gone. It's all right here. I don't want to tell you. How about the truth? You know what? I want to cut in, in here first for a little bit. So this is my progress. This is the apple pie right here, right? This thing is really, really messing with me. This, like, corner area. The, like, th this, all this, right? Nasty. Like, why? Who did this, right? Everything else is okay, right? The inside, the filling and all that stuff. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's as, okay, as okay as it could be. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, just a video update, right? <laughs> video update. <laughs> I find this so funny, but it's like, what am I doing? Like, I'm eating a little mini cake that I hate, by the way. I don't even like it, but I have to destroy it, right? But anyway, I keep touching it. But anyway, back to the video. I'm telling you, I came here for eight grand. It's just 22. Can you see why I'm skeptical about that? I don't know what to tell you. Do you think you will ever want to do it with me? Oh. I promise to be gentle. Oh, -ho. I promise not to get you pregnant, too. That's nasty. This this is nasty. You talk about going to a motel. Yeah, both of these things. You talk nice. about your home. Well, whoever they go was I was talking to, then I guess basically she must have entrapped me. Entrapped? Yeah. Really? And yeah, how is this entrapped me? me on. Who was <laughs> you like, see what I mean? It, this, she must have entrapped me. She was leading me on, right? Everybody wants to get Jerry Griffith. Everyone knows this, right? He's such a big deal that he is, um... He's a target of police, right? He, first of all, I don't even think he understands that this is ran by police. But... She must have trapped me. Oh, shut up, man. It's just... It, like, I haven't said that in a while. Just shut up. It's just so stupid. Um... It, it, I hate his shirt, by the way. Like, what is what is his shirt? Um, I would never wear anything like that, but that's because I have a better fashion sense. I mean, look at me. I would never wear anything like what he's wearing right now. <laughs> but anyway. Who's leading on? Whoever it was I was talking to. I'll bring I don't some know who I was talking to now. I'll bring some birth control gel, just in case. Condoms? Yeah, okay. Did you bring condoms? No. No condoms? No. Even though you said you would here. No. But you brought the gel. I was talking to, I thought I was talking to you Okay, do you want me to spend the night? Sure. Maybe you can bring some beer. You want me to? Yeah, it would be rocking. Cool, but you can't have any friends over. That would be too risky. I How old is Jerry Griffith? Because I can't stop looking at his face and just thinking that this guy's like, you know, on his last legs. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy seems pretty old. Like, I know I always make fun of people, like, being older than 25 being, like, dinosaurs and stuff, but... To <coughs> Sorry. Uh, truthfully, uh, Jerry Griffith is one of those guys that, like, look, looks very old. Um, and he did say... which This is the part that I'm trying to get to. He said he was 35 in, in the messages. Are you serious? You look that times two. What do you mean? You look 70. Like, I understand that the Predators like to lie and say that they're younger than they actually are, but that's, that's not going to work. Like, I I mean, most of most of the people that do that it was never going to work. Like, we have someone like um, uh, um, Ham Bubger, like, saying he's, like, 38, you know what I mean? Like, it's very ridiculous, but um, it's just something that I'm just looking at the screen and just kind of thinking about. That this guy really tried to make himself seem younger. And if he's 35, I swear to God, I will eat 20 of these <laughs> of these pies. He he cannot be he cannot be 35. Like that just, just seems so impossible. Uh, but yeah. I just want me and you, and I want it to be romantic. And you can't tell anyone, not even a best friend. We can't trust no one. Wow. She talks about bringing a pie, and here's a pie. Uh, I don't know what to do. I thought I was talking to Adrian. What's your full name? Jerry Griffin. Jerry Griffin? Yeah. Jerry Eugene Griffin. And how old? I'm 45. 45. 45. Yeah, that yeah, even seems like an impossibility. 35. I thought I was talking to Adrian. 
But what does that have to do with whether or not you're telling the truth? There was no record of any Adriana. Adriana. Well, I, don't know how Adriana. She did that. I don't know how she did that. Adriana was supposed to be her aunt. You know, I just thought of this stupid thing. What if in an alternate universe, like, he is telling the truth? <laughs> like, there was an Adriana, and they actually set him up, right? Uh, for, free Jerry Griffith, man. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, he did nothing wrong, right? Be free my man, Jerry Griffith. Um, Adriana set him up, right? I'm just kidding. Uh, of course that didn't happen, but it could have, right? It's never a 0% chance, like... There is always a chance of anything happening, you know what I mean? Like, there's a there's a, a 1% chance I get struck by lightning right now, right? See, and it didn't happen, right? Because that's a way it could have, though. <laughs> what am I saying? Play the video, man. Later on, I was supposed to be your aunt. So what? Why should I believe? She told me... Because I'm telling I you. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. She told me... When, when I first talked talk to her, she told me that she had to leave town. And, then, and one night, Adriana started talking to me and said that she was around and she was 22 years old. Yeah, but none of that's in the transcript here. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. The truth would be a good start. <laughs> well, Jay Griffith has a very uneven face uh, in the I region. Um, I don't know what's wrong. I'm not gonna make fun of him like if he has like some form of disease. Form of disease that doesn't matter, right? When you are um, a pre that's not a factor when you are predatoric. Is that a word? No. Um, but yeah, like I see him look up sometimes. You and see how like, he, his eyes are very uneven. It could be the camera quality, it could be the lighting or whatever. But to me, it seems more than that because he does look up like pretty high at some point. Um. Like, yeah, it's just, like, like look at this. Like, this eye is, like, very, like, sharpened up and, like, contoured. And this one seems, like, smaller. I don't know. But there's something I've I've seen, but I've never seen anyone point out ever, right? It, it's not like I'm saying ever, but I've never seen it being pointed out. But I guess I'll point she it out. She told me that she had to leave town. And, it, and one night, Adriana started talking to me and said that she was around and she was 22 years old. She also old. has no neck either. Yeah, but none of that's in the transcript here. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. The truth would be the truth. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You see how this looks? I don't know how it looks. It looks like you came here to visit a 13-year-old girl, and you were going to have sex with her. Or at least that's what you wanted to No, do. I thought it was going to be your family. Sure. At 22. That's what I thought. Come on. I thought it was going to be your family. No 22-year-old, bro. Come on. Then why all the talk about keeping it secret and everything, if it was supposed to be... That was, oh, that was... th th thank you, Chris, for reminding me of that. When I think about grooming, I think about Jerry Griffith. Yeah, like, always. Because he, ha he has one of the more memorable lines that have has stayed with me. With him saying, we can't trust no one. Not even a friend, right? I Every time I think about that, I think about him. When, you know, the conversation arises, when... You know, other pre other predators have said something similar. It's always him for some reason. I think of first, and I think it's because he kind of worded it um, the most creepy, right? He's like, "Oh, we can't trust anyone else." You know, what I mean, like most people go, "Hey, you can't tell anyone else." You know, what I mean, it has to be our secret. But um, he, he goes, "We can't trust no one." Like, what? But yeah, it's just something that you know. I just want to point out. It's just super grooming tactic. Um, there have there have been worser cases but when i think about i know bad word cho choosing but classic um for this type of thing i think about him like one of the worst cases for me would probably be um um richard burnham when he posed as a a college student and then you know he posed as himself you know and all that if you want to watch that video go ahead i have it out there and yeah it's just it's just so crazy that the the grooming is such a big aspect of, of these um, chat logs um, that we see. So, sure. no, it's you too. <laughs> we can't just... tell anyone. I thought I thought I was talking to Adriana. She told me she was pointing to. <laughs> then why is it not reflected in the chat? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got my screen names mixed up. I don't know. Maybe I thought I was talking to one person when I was really talking to another. I, I mixed them up. I don't know. Why even take the chance then? Because I was just going on a date. I thought maybe I could come over and meet her and she'd be a nice girl. And she'd be, you know, she'd be single. And, she'd be 22. And, 
we could date. But I didn't know it was it was this girl. Oh, it is starting to give me a headache. I just don't care for this guy anymore. Oh my god, Jerry Griffith, man. I just cannot believe. Like that's one thing that we never tackle in these um, commentaries is that a twenty-two-year-old really trying to. You know, do you really think that they would want to be with a 45-year-old that looks like this, by the way? Like, I understand there are some people like that, which is weird. But, like, that look like this, like, just nasty. I'm sorry that, you know, I keep making fun of his looks, but he makes himself seem a lot dirtier and nasty by his actions. You know what I mean? If I saw this guy out in, like, just normal guy, I probably wouldn't think anything different. But knowing what he did you know, wanted to do and, you know, what he's capable of just makes his, his whole physical appearance ten times worse. And I'm sure you understand that, you know what I mean? Why am I caressing my my mug right here? I don't know. I, I need some comforting right now. And, um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, we're almost done with the video. <laughs> I ate that... Oh, first of, first of all, the apple pie is done. I just finished it, like, just a second ago. And let me say one thing. I would have paid not to eat it. <laughs> I did not like it at all. And it's probably my fault. I got like a supermarket one. You know what I mean? I could have gotten maybe a more, you know, bakery style one. But to be fair, like, I don't even think they're making apple pies right now. That's more like a holiday thing. But yeah, I don't know. Apple pie, I'll give it a, a four. I'll give it a four out of ten if I'm rating um, these things. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just below average since I just didn't want to eat it. You know what I mean? Um, sorry. You're having a hard time looking me in the eye. I'll look in the eye. Okay. I'll look in the eye and tell you that. You're telling me Adrian. that you didn't know there was a 13 year old girl here. I thought it was Adrian. You just looked away from me. Um, <laughs> let me turn the chair. I'm sorry. I He's thought right. it was Adrian. I thought she was 22. The thing is, is he, 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 he blinks when he says the age. Like, I don't know if you realize that, but. It's almost the same thing as looking away. If you blink, <laughs> look at him, blink while you're lying it, um, in the, a certain part of the lie. And I say this because I also kind of do that. Um, I catch myself looking back at it, doing the same thing. But I'll look in the eye and tell you that look. you're telling me Adrian. that you didn't know there was a 13 year old girl here. I thought it was Adrian. He looked away. You just looked away from me. Um, let me turn the chair. I'm sorry. I thought it was Adrian. I thought she was 22. See, like when he said 22, he blinks. <laughs> um, I understand that people have to blink, right? It doesn't really mean much, but it's just something that I point out, and I think it, like, show, <coughs> shows that he's lying. Man, this thing, it killed me. I don't... It was supposed to be an act or something like that. But the problem, the problem is, is that I have all the transcripts here. I know you And there's no indication of that whatsoever. I don't what know. am I to believe? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I, well, I know it looks bad. I know it does. <laughs> Tell me. I'm just telling it. What am I supposed to do about all this? I don't know. What do you think I don't do about all I don't know. What should I do? <laughs> I really don't know. If I had answers for you, I would tell you. But you see why this does not look good. I know it doesn't look good. I know it doesn't look good. Because Adrian is obviously not here. <laughs> obviously, this girl was twenty. This girl was in twenty-two. So. so ridiculous, man. Like, like I'm just sitting here know. in disbelief, like, at this point. I don't even know how I watched, the, watched this the first time. Because it's just like, what am I doing here? <laughs> and it's more like a me question. But it's like, it, it, it doesn't pick up or, you know, nothing happens, really. You know what I mean? They kind of talk in circles where it's like, oh, I thought she was 22. And Chris goes, well, you're lying to me. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's all this entire segment was. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do you ever <laughs> watch television? Once in a while. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Mm -hmm. I'm Chris Hansen. Okay. With Dateline NBC. Okay. We're Don't doing a story face. on computer practice. Don't show my face. Now, if you have anything else you'd like to say about this situation, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to go and take all your stuff. Don't show my face. <laughs> You want to take yourself? No, keep it. No, keep it. Oh, so cringe, man. I would slap the brakes out of you. Anyway, so... I, you know, it's something that people have always brought up. Where it's like... Do they think they're just filming for the last, like, 
20 seconds of this encounter. Like, come on, man. But um, it's understandable that they hide their faces from, like, physical cameras that are right in front of them. Like, I'm sure they know that they've, they've been filmed. Um, they eventually, you know, put that together. But um, especially if they've heard of, heard of the show before. But, yeah, it's just something ridiculous. Like, the cameras come out and he goes, oh, those... Don't show my face. Like, what are you talking about, man? We, I've been seeing your face for the past 11, 11 minutes, right? There's no hiding at this point. No, keep it. All right, let's see. Let's see what he was on about. Jerry Eugene Griffith was arrested during the Riverside County, California sting on January 7, 2006. He was charged in an attempt to lunatic service act with a child under the age of 14. Griffith long, uh, Griffith long protested his innocence and opted for his constitutional right to be trialed by jury. He mentions that he is newly divorced in this log, which occurred in 2006. When this case finally came to trial in 2009, his new wife was in the courtroom. The jury took a little over an hour to elect the four men and decide his fate. Jerry U.G. Griffith was sentenced to one year in county jail with 60 days credit for time served, three years of probation, and he must register as a sex offender. Griffith decided to file an appeal on December 10th. However, the verdict was upheld. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I really tried doing that without it stopping, right? Okay, let me read this properly now. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing so much. I don't even know why. It's not, nothing so funny right now. Um, th this jury took a little over an hour to elect the four men and decide his fate. Uh, Jerry Eugene Griffith was sentenced to one year in county jail with 60 days credit for time served, three years of probation, and he must register as a sex offender. Griffith decided to file an appeal in December 2010. However, the verdict, verdict was upheld, right? So they didn't change a single thing about it, right? Um, but anyway, let's go on to search his uh, wiki up. Griffith. Oh my god, I forgot I had to tell you guys something. Alright, so. I'm getting married. No, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> if mostly, I don't know, because there, there's some people I actually don't know who this is, but if you are aware, Walls has retired, by the way. Walls, the t capist right? The YouTube commentary, like, OG, for me at least, has retired from doing, um, uh, um, TCAP commentaries and is now just uploading um, ones that have been, you know, took down by YouTube, right? So he is gone. And when I was looking through, you know, all that stuff, I had someone comment on my video, and you know who you are because you were the only one who did it. I think it was on a, um, to be more specific, it was on a, uh, oh, what was it? Fuck. Jeff Soko video. When you told me, I was shocked, right? So I went to Reddit. And I saw like a post like, oh, Walls has retired. And when I was there, I looked through the comments and I see people saying that like, I'm the next one to like, you know, ha like ha hold up the, the TCAP commentary um, side of YouTube. And that, that just warms my heart. Like, I just want to say like, if you, if you were one of those that posted that on Reddit about me, right? I thank you so much. Like that, that was so sweet. Uh, especially the guy with the uh, the gif of, of the possum with the, the, the riding the snowboard. That that was so funny when I saw it. I chuckled. But anyway, um, yeah, just something to of worth, right? Walls has retired, and that's that. Um, he didn't say he's gone forever. He said for the foreseeable future, it is possible for, possible for him to come back. But it seems like from what he was saying that he just didn't want to do the, the videos anymore. And, you know, hey, he, he did well. You know, I mean, he inspired me to start, you know, making videos, and you know, I can I can never not thank him enough for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know who is up next for number one. Like people are saying me, and I would gladly take the spot. But I, I'm not around YouTube TCAP all that much to know if there's someone else who's above me or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's just something that I just wanted to point out. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> And also, the Instagram thing, that's true, by the way. I do plan on posting some videos early. When I'm, like, especially now in the summer, when I'm, like, working pretty hard, I want to post on good days. And sometimes, you know, I could post videos early. And also, if you you all want to message me on there, you're perfectly fine to do so. Don't be scared. Like, I, there's so many people, and I've said this so many times, there's so many people who are scared to talk to me. Like, I'm some form of monster, some, like, higher being. I'm just some random dude, right? 
um, I'm, this turned into more of a podcast. I'm so sorry if you just don't care about that. But yeah, on Instagram, I think it's flashing on screen. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm too lazy to edit it in. Hopefully, I'm not. But yeah, just something to point out. If you want to message me and say hi or whatever, you know, that's fine. I don't mind. Anyway, let's continue. Jerry Griffith. Uh, he said, she said her name was 22. Uh, a fluster Jerry Griffith confused the name with the age. Um, so we have Jerry Griffith. Look at him. Um, he doesn't look so like slant faced uh, here. You know how he was in the um, video. You know, oh, maybe he is a little bit. Um, I assume that's a newer picture of him, this one. But it looks older, so maybe doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, his aliases is Mr. B. Jones 2. He has a wife. He is divorced, but he's remarried. Um, he was born June 20th, 1960. He's sadly still alive. Um, he's male. He's six feet tall. I didn't think so. I would have thought Jerry was pretty small. Um, he weighs 185 pounds. His eye color is hazel. Jerry Eugene, Eugene Griffith is a suspected predator feature in the Riverside, California edition of To Catch a Predator. He is well known for the adamant dedication to the lie he was feeding Chris Hansen despite the overwhelming evidence against him. His iconic She Said Her Name Was 22 line has become legendary and one of the most used quotes in the T-Camp fandom, which I don't know if that is true. It's like, it's claiming that is the most used line is kind of crazy, which I don't think it is at all. There are some other ones that I think are have been said more. Uh, but anyway, sorry. <coughs> Biography. 45-year-old Jerry Griffith started an internet conversation with a perverted justice decoy who was posing as a 13-year-old girl. Griffith lied to the decoy and told her he was 35. He asked her if she was single and preferred older men. He lamented the fact that she wasn't slightly older, saying that he was looking for a good girl to be with. When he asked her if she could date a man his age, wait a minute! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, when did he get remarried? I guess we'll look into it. But if he was, like, like he had, like, a fiancé or, like, a girlfriend at this time, then, like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't assume, like, the time between this and, and, like, the wife situation was that long. I know I just read the TCAP stuff, like, a second ago, but I'm sure it'll tell me on here. Um, let's see. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> um... Uh, she responded that she would maybe consider it. Then he told her he was searching for romance and that she was uh, really attractive. She was a uh, questioned about her past sexual relationship with boys. He asked her if she could leave her house so they could meet. He suggested um, she to wait. She just he suggested she, I guess, went to his place in Long Beach when she said she could, um, but she shot back that she couldn't drive. When he suggested picking her up, she consent consented without a problem. He said he wanted to call her and hear her sexy voice. He was informed that she could not call him since any call she made would be billed on her mother's phone account. She reassured him that if he called her as he had feared, his phone number wouldn't appear on the bill. Griffith expressed his desire to uh, for them to date. This, this apple pie really did a number on me. I'm like burping and stuff. He claimed nevertheless that she... That since she was a minor, they had to keep their relationship a secret and couldn't go out in public. He questioned her consent to have sex with a man his age and engaged in other stuff like that. Like, stuff like that. He apologized for not being with her on that specific day. He recommended they could they, they go somewhere private so they could have some alone time. He agreed to uh, see her but insisted they go somewhere no one could see them. He said that he said that she could make out with him and cuddle with him. He offered to pick her up and drive her to a motel. She stated that she would she was still a virgin when he asked. She responded in the uh, in the affirmative in the uh, affirmative when he asked if she believed she would ever want to do it with him. I'm having a uh, having some trouble reading. Maybe it's the light. Hold on. I'm also kind of stuttering. I'm sorry. He promised to be gentle and not try to impregnate her. He provided her with some with his mobile phone number. A phone conversation was followed by another online voice chat or online online chat. She revealed that her parents would be away from the home for the weekend after Griffith said he really wanted to meet her. He then offered to go to her house the following day and spend that night there with her. He suggested they go 
beyond than making out and offered to bring condoms and birth control gel. She requested him to bring some beer and he agreed. He advised her not to invite any of her friends since she, since doing so would be too risky. When he said he'd bring her a gift, the decoy said she liked pie. He assured her that he would bring pie and a whipped cream and whipped cream, which he would then lick off her body. He also proposed that they shower in candlelight. He inquired if she had any previous rel any nearby relatives. Oh my God! Please no. Like I, sometimes I, this this all just makes me so mad sometimes. Like you're not some some stud, Jerry Griffith. You're some old wrinkly man, bro. Like there's nothing really appealing about you. And he's like, oh yeah, like get one of your rel relatives in this, right? I'm sure they'd want some too, right? Relax, man. When she responded that she didn't, he remarked that it was fortunate that no one would be checking on them. Okay, maybe he didn't mean that on like in the way I was saying, but others have said something like that, which is annoying. He noted that based on the photos she had uploaded for her profile, she had very kissable lips. Ew. He offered to demonstrate how to have sex and advise her to masturbate first. Two hours later, he mentioned her offering her virginity to him. They planned to meet that night during a later conversation that day. Um, during the sting, Griffith arrived at, at the sting house with apple pie, whipped cream, KY lubricant, uh, KY lubricant vaginal contraceptive jelly, Tums, and a bottle of beer. Dale Harvey spoke to Griffith while posing as a teenage girl in a different room. The two shared conversations before Chris Hansen entered the room and told Griffith to take a seat. Griffith responded not a whole lot when questioned about his purpose there. He claimed he was stopping by to see Adriana, a 22-year-old woman. Griffith stated he was speaking with a Amy when they stopped talking and Adriana began con conversing with him, telling him she was Amy's aunt. She was the, the Amy's aunt. Um, when they stopped talking and Adriana began con conversing with him, okay, I just read the same thing. He claimed Adriana gave him the address. When Chris informed him that Amy used the screen name Green Day Chick, Griffith asserted that Amy told him that it was Adriana's screen name. Chris began to lose patience, cl complaining that he couldn't find any evidence of Adriana's existence and that Griffith has already talked with a 13-year-old decoy about her age several times. Griffith then asserted that he was being entrapped and was being led on since there was no Adriana. Furthermore, he insisted that uh, insisted that he was co conversing with Adriana and that he believed the 13-year-old decoy had left. Chris made a statement about Griffith's lack of eye contact when responding to the questions. Chris then identified himself to Griffith and revealed his affiliation with Dateline. Griffith covered his face and asked them not to expose his face when the cameras came out. He walked out of the house, leaving behind all the items he brought. When police searched his car, they found MapQuest directions to the, to the Sting House. <laughs> uh, the police interview. <clears throat> During an interview with an investigator, Griffith persisted in insisting that Adriana was the main factor in um, his decision to visit the Sting House. Uh, sting home. After the investigator presented him comments he had made during the discussion, proving that he was aware that the girl with whom he was conversing with was 13 years old, he claimed that his uh, his he claimed that he wasn't thinking clearly because he had been put under a lot of stress. He claimed that his uh, that this was the only time he had ever fucked up. He defended himself by saying that even if he had not thought the decoy was underage or that she was 22. He had a wife and should have been home helping to fix their marital issues. Griffith furthermore would further said he was aware, unaware that when he arrived at the house he would be having sex. He then admitted that they would have had sex when confronted that he w that he talked about it in the chats. So okay, no, he's talking about the wife he had, right? So he was just cheating. But I I say just cheating, but that's really bad, but you know, I thought that he was, like, getting engaged already with the other person. You know what I mean? Like, if they're having marital issues, it kind of makes sense that he would, like, be prowling around for, like, someone else. Of course, it being a minor is really wrong, of course. But um, the whole cheating on a marriage thing is, isn't super duper, um, you know, I'm not going to say wrong. I'm going to say, like, out of the realm of possibilities. You know what I mean? Like, if... if the way that the marriage was going, it's it's normal to see that he would go on to see someone else, right? Um, even when they're still together. It's wrong, don't get me wrong. Like, cheating is just really fucked up, don't get me wrong. But it, just with it being with a minor, it's just <sighs> ten times worse. 
So for the aftermath, Griffith was charged with a felony count of attempted lewd and lascivious acts with a child under 14 years of age. His bail was set at $25,000. What? Uh, following his arrest, Griffith was once again brought. Griffith was once again brought to attention online. This time by the very perverted justice decoy he who had. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. This time, by the very perverted justice decoy who had originally posed as a teenage girl in their prior interaction, the decoy re-established contact with the arresting officer who expressed a willingness to arrest Griffith again. The officer advised the perverted justice decoy to initiate communications with Griffith to uh, gauge his response. On February 14, 2006, Griffith replied to the decoy saying, Fuck you, leave me alone, you bunch of liars. <laughs> In the lead up to his trial, Griffith made multiple attempts to have his chat logs censored, but this, uh, but these efforts pro proved unuseful, unsuccessful. My bad. The trial court ultimately determined that Perverted Justice was not functioning as an agent for the Riverside Police, and that Griffith could not responsibly expect his chat logs to be kept private. Um, Griffith uh, vigorously asserted his innocence and fought his case for nearly five years. Dragging it out until July 2009, despite still having no evidence, uh, Griffith's primary defense still revolved around the belief that he was communicating with the Adriana, the per, uh, per, oh my god, the perpetuated, per, 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 per <laughs> the per, purport, purported, what? Yeah, it, are they, are they mean, are they meaning to say the reported 13 year old decoys on? Purported what? Whom he claimed to be 22 years old, opted to exercise his constitutional right to a jury trial. Griffith's new wife was present in the courtroom as his chat logs were pre uh, was presented as evidence. In autumn of 2009, after just over an hour of deliberation, the jury selected a foreman and returned uh, a guilty verdict on the felony charge that Griffith was facing. He was subsequently sentenced to a year in county jail with six days credited for the time already served. Additionally, he received three years of probation, mandatory lifetime registration as a sex offender, a requirement to attend sex offender counseling, responsibility for various fees and fines, consent for random searches of his person and property, and the obligation to provide a DNA sample. So he got it pretty bad with what he was um, a, a given uh, for a um, sentence. Um, a year in county jail is not bad. We've seen a lot less. Um, three years of probation is normal, and the lifetime registration is, uh, my favorite, my favorite part of all this. Um, uh, attending counseling counseling and, like, paying all that stuff is also pretty good. Um, in 2010, right, this is apparently on appeal. Um, in 2010, Griffith filed an appeal, contending that his request to have his interview with Chris Hansen suppressed should have been granted. He suggested that it should be have it should have been prohibited to show the footage of Chris's interview with him during the sting operation since it was more pre prejudiced prejudiced than pro probo pro 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 probative probative what and would take too much time. Uh, he further claimed that the trial court abused his, uh, its authority by permitting the, permitting the video to be shown because it was compo composite what compo composite of the chat log and the defendant's post-arrest interview with the police. He additionally argued that a condition of his probation that a condition of his probation which required alcohol testing was proper it was improper. Oh my god. Although the trial although the trial court agreed to eliminate alcohol testing from the probation requirements the remainder of the verdict was upheld. Oh my god, I can't even read. <sighs> so we have trivia. Griffith was in the midst of a divorce at the time of, of the sting. His wife was cheating on him with the police officer. Oh my god. That's uh, bad. But anyway, Jesus Christ, this was really bad. I'm so sorry if this video was not good. I really tried my best. Shout out to Saul, by the way. One of the greatest. Um, um, I guess... Uh, app let's, let's type a message. Apple Pie really... Ain't all all that. <laughs> Jesus, man. Anyway, um, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for for watching. I did, I know this this viewing was a little bit strange, but I don't know what to make of it. The, the apple pie ruined my day, <laughs> truthfully. But um, it was nice recording again. You know, it's nice to be back. 
slightly. I kind of added a little bit too much of podcast about me uh, between the chat log and the video, but hopefully it wasn't that bad. But um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching so so much. Right, make sure you like the video. It really helps out. You know, push the video out to more people. And yeah, thank you so much uh, for sticking with me. <laughs> uh, goodbye.